Yo, what's up everyone, and uh, welcome back to a new video here on Airtime Sweden. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for not uploading for a really long time, but as you, as you know, we have a lot of things, uh, been doing really fun things, like every day. If you follow my Instagram social media, so you may know that. But today I wanted to do a review on the wooden roller coaster at Peony Playland. So, co it's named Coaster. The the coaster, the coaster is actually a wooden roller coaster, homemade by them, and that's actually a really, really good and classic wooden roller coaster. And that was my second ever wooden roller coaster in the world that I rode. And man, that's such a fun ride! You think they will fly off your seat? I give this ride actually ten out of ten, or I can see it already now. So that that this ride is more than one hundred years old. So that's why it's it's really rough, but that's actually really. I think that adds to the fun, like to to the excitement, because you get more air time, uh, Florida air time. I think, um, I think I just experienced like almost how an arrow roller coaster is like how you how it feels to ride an arrow roller coaster, uh, but instead in a wooden, because it I think it it's exactly how like a wooden coaster. It looked really fun though. It was really fun, sorry. So, yeah. At the air times, you, you think that you will fly off your seat, but you won't. It's actually really fun. The air time in the back row is actually also really insane. It really is insane. Um, I, I waited like 20 minutes or 50 minutes at least in this roller coaster each time I rode. I read it like 3 4 times, I think. First time was in like in the middle I think and then the second one the last row and the last one was in the front row sorry for pausing all the times so, uh, it's kind of late so to not disturb um, but yeah it was actually really really fun I gave it 10 out of 10 the smoothness was actually I gave it 10 out of 10 because it's a classic Woody of course it, it is kind of like shaky but I, I, I the first time I experienced and it's really loud when you go down the drop and that's why I really like it so it, it adds to the fearness like to the scaredness it's really good like oh my it's so crazy guys I love it so 10 out of 10 I think you you definitely should ride it my favorite ride in the park was like all of them but the scariest was actually Re Revelation can actually show you that hold on this was a revelation sadly you have to pay extra but it was kind of worth it to, like to pay a bit I and mean, it's not worth it because you pay a lot in the entrance but it was really fun as you can see this is the scariest and my favorite in the park because you see how tall this is i almost blacked down when i rode it because like the hang time and the every time you feel when you're up so down in the top that's so scary guys that was really scary also, the beast was actually really good, which, which is a pendulum ride. I can search for it right now. Sorry that I'm going other categories. Um, here it is. That's it. That that's actually, I think that's more forceful than, forceful than Loki at Leesburg. Actually, I think so. Cause oh my god, but that was so good. The G forces on this on this attraction it is incredible. It's insane, guys. Literally insane. Really good. Everything I get, everything 10 out of 10. It's really sad that they closed uh, some of the attractions. For example, Atmosphere was closed exactly that day when we came, 15 August until 16 August. Just I think they had technical issues. I don't know why, because it looked perfect. But and also, Elevator is closed during to COVID 19. They only open extend rides, which is kind of sad. They should open all the rides if they even open the park. So, kind of sad, weird. But I still really enjoy that that day it was really fun the bumper cars the swings was actually really nice as well and pretty much everything there sadly we didn't eat there because it was a bit too expensive so we ate at fat burgers it was really good i took um we took cheese and bacon and like in max Sweden, a bit memories and then we i took nacho fries and uh, and fries normal fries for another and i took natural fries it was really good so yeah guys, oh my god. <laughs> but that was the review for um for the wooden roller coaster. Hold on, let me just go back to the wooden coaster. Hold on, it's gonna take 
but <laughs> so yeah, I give this absolutely ten out of ten. I definitely suggest you to write if you want like a old classic uh, wooden roller coaster that be rough and like air time full full of air times that you almost <laughs> fall off your seat, but you will you will not because you have a restraint of course that holds you when you're about to fall off. But you have to hold you have, you have to, like to hold really hard like so you you may like. If you don't hold yourself, you might like I don't know, put your like, accidentally, I don't know, hit your mouth in the train. I don't know, but it's not so dangerous. It's still it just because it's old, but it's really good. So ten out of ten, the park ten out of ten. Really loved it. That day was really fun. Two days ago, I think yeah, <laughs> or three, two, two. Uh, anyways, guys. Thanks so much for watching out this video at Airtime Sweden. Follow me on social medias and subscribe to my to, to this channel, also my other channel that is called Eric Dehero YouTube, my main channel, main channel. And yeah, have a good night. See you for a new video, maybe in a couple of weeks if I get an idea. So have a good one.